I'm Garrod Farrelly and season 5 of Fascinated is coming soon. Here's a quick reminder of season 4. We were massive over here and everywhere else it was all blowing up and it all kind of just unravelled. Hmm. What's it like having a knob? <laughs> when it first came out, it was slated. I got absolutely castrated by the gay press. It's called method acting. You live the role, you become the role. Like in that film, Hocus Pocus, where you played that witch. <laughs> he said, they want you to come to LA and, and go and have lunch with her. Uh, but I don't actually remember half of it at all. I watch episodes of it now and think, I don't remember that bit with the monkey. <laughs> I really don't. We were in the studio and we were a track short and he said have you got another song and I literally had the cassette in my pocket and then for the whole of the 90s I was dead in the water no no I wasn't into pow you got me mixed up with someone else <laughs> you didn't want anyone to know you were in some 80s pop rock band choose to play the part if you let me be So for a record company, they're like, hang on, 1.5 million on the first record. Let's do this again. Patch this up, make it work. But it wasn't a healthy place because you know, at that point it was separate everything. Separate cars, separate dressing rooms, separate <laughs> airports sometimes. And the girls have shared it was equally as difficult for them and they said they had things going on that I didn't know about in their lives. And for me, God, I'm, it sounds terrible, but I'm just so relieved it's over. Here are some clips from the new season. I got taken into a room and it was about, well, you've won, well done. So have a day off tomorrow and then we're going to push on with your album. I vividly remember going to bed that night thinking, I don't think they were happy I won. <laughs> oh no. They got sex. This is a terrible story. I mean, it is a disaster. <laughs> it's like a movie. It's like a movie. The president of my record company looked over at me and he said, you know what, you're 30 pounds away from superstardom in this country. I called my mother, she listened to my story, and she said, well, why didn't you tell him you didn't want to gain any more weight? Subscribe or catch up on iTunes or headstuff.org. And if you like it, share it with your friends and leave a lovely review.